Hey guys, my name is Addie and today we are going to be talking homeschooling, preschool homeschooling for your three, four year old kiddo. I have three little girls with one on the way and I am gearing up to do homeschool for my three, almost four year old. She'll be four as soon as like, you know, just a little bit into the school year. So we have been doing this. I did this with my first daughter. This is my second daughter this year. Um, my two year old, she will do this next year. So it's been about, I guess, five years into homeschooling for preschool that I'm in now at this point. Our routine pretty much consists of about 15 minutes a day, 15 to 20 minutes a day of our preschool system. And um, we, I try to do it when the littlest is napping. Um, that way I have some focused time. There are times where like when my current one I'm about to work with was two, she was no longer napping. So I did my two and then four year old at the same time and they both did homeschooling. So depending on the age of my kiddos, sometimes that's not always feasible to do it when the littlest is napping. And even now, even though most days I'll do it with my three, four year old when she, the littlest is napping, there's gonna be days where she's just not into it at that time. And so we might push it to the morning or the evening instead. That's the beauty of homeschool. You can kind of do it whenever works for you and when is good for them and all of that. So um, I will share a link to my most recent homeschool routine in the description below. So check that out if you wanna see it. I'm not gonna to go too much into detail in it now. Um, Cause this is kind of more of a how to type situation. Anyway, um, if you've been around, you know that I homeschool based on themes. So each week I have a theme assigned to what we are going to do. All about me, space, unicorns, you know, whatever it is that is that week. And we will do a letter focus and number focus. We'll do something science-y or history related, um, a sensory and typically something for religion as well. We are Catholic, so we always add something like that into our routine. And I have on my website a freebie with my theme printables, which is basically what each week's theme is going to be that year, what I'm gonna focus on, the letter, the number, um, and the religion piece. So if you want to see basically my homeschool plan, my curriculum, it is free. You just need to sign up for my newsletter. It'll send you the password to my freebie section, and then you can go in and download that or any other freebie on my website. So definitely utilize that if you want to. And in addition, you can see any of my past themes that I've done. I have a preschool section on my website and it goes through that theme and what exactly we've done and what the activity for the four-year-old was, what the activity for the two-year-old was, the three-year-old, etc. So definitely use those resources. Again, I'll link that in the description too. Use those if you want some you know, free resources. Uh, this year for my four-year-old, um, I am really gonna focus on phonics and letter recognition. Just, I really want her to master those. She knows most of her letters, um, but not always, you know, super quick, can tell me the letter, it might take her a minute, or she says the wrong one and then goes to the right one. So I really wanna work on mastery this year and number recognition. She can count to high heavens, but when it comes to actually like recognizing a number, she's still struggling with that a little bit. I mean, zero to five, she pretty much has, but after that, you know, she it gets a little tricky. So that is definitely something I want to work on as well. And then for my um, plan, for my plan this year, we actually are gonna be taking it a little bit easier than I have in years past. I'm only going to do a four week, four a day plan for each week rather than five. I typically do five. I'm only gonna do four. And on the fifth, I'm just gonna save it for review or to redo some of the exercises that she found fun or for like a field trip or something to go out and do something. If we're on an apple theme, take her to an apple orchard. Or if we are on a magical theme, take her to some magical castle themed playground. You know what I mean? So I wanna add just a flex day in there. And that's also like, I also am just taking it easy this year. If you know me, my themes cover usually 50 weeks of the year. We take like two breaks and that's it because 
that is just my kids are so into it it's a way we bond it helps me fill the time and like i said this is fun school this is mama's fun school this is not like sit down structure we're learning our abcs and sitting down in our chair and no i have sensory stuff it's sensory bibs it's playtime like i have games for letter stuff so um, my kids really really enjoy it and they want to do it all the time and I really enjoy bonding with them doing doing that. It's obviously a lot of work for me. I plan a lot and do a lot of prep work to do, make that happen. But to me and my family, it's worth it. This year though, there is a lot of transitioning happening. Um, this baby is gonna be born. I am still working full time. I'm just gonna, instead of my year that I normally do, we're actually just gonna do about 36 weeks. So I'm taking a lot of time just off after baby comes, I think we're gonna stop schooling for like seven weeks. I don't have anything new planned. And that's okay with me because guess what? I have a box, multiple boxes of our past themes. I save all our stuff always. That way we can reuse it year to year to year. And on a theme we're not using this year, I can pull those out and just use. Like here's a box full of stuff, full of resources. If we don't have something planned for that week and we want an activity, I can pull out our little skeleton guy here, you know? Same with like seven weeks around is what I'm taking off after baby. That's Christmas is in there and Christmas is my favorite homeschool unit. I just love it. But guess what? I have a lot of resources already printed, already laminated, already saved in here. So even if we're not doing something formal each day, I still have stuff that I can just pull out if we are in the mood, if we have time, if everything is working out. Um, but in general, I am taking it easy. So if you uh, have been around here and you see that I only have like 30 something themes, that's why we're taking it easy this year. Um, and outside of that, also um, the two year old plan, you know, that I also each usually plan for each kid that I have just in case, you know, they want to participate. And this year I'm not making a special plan for my two year old again, because most of the time we're probably gonna do it when she's napping. And secondly, I do have like back here, this is my two-year-old binder. It has every letter and activities for each letter and I can pull that out for her if she happens to want to do something that day. In each theme this year, I also, I don't have specific things for each, you know, whatever, but I did link to specific activities that would be good for a two-year-old that if she's there, I can just click those and you know, pull it up. And again, I have some stuff saved so I can always pull something out. I also at the bottom of these shelves here have a whole bin. This is all just early learning preschool. So if I'm doing something, I can pull one of these activities out and do that with her as well. So have plenty of that, not planning for my two-year-old, which is new this year. All right, so if you are not into planning and doing your own thing and themes, and you just wanna know how the heck can I homeschool my preschooler without much effort, got you covered. So over the years, I have found so many resources. And the first one, if you are Christian or don't mind a Christian based thing, ABC Jesus Loves Me, I think is my favorite. It has levels age one, two, three, four, five. So up to five. And they work on different things based on the age, letters, reading, character traits, uh, gross motor, fine motor, math, history, all the things. I just love their program. The only thing I don't love is that they usually teach the alphabet in order, which I don't love that style. But if you're looking for like a program that just lists out, here's what you do, it's a great one. One of my favorites. I will link all of these in the description below. The other thing is with ABC Jesus, it was really great. It's the one I used when my firstborn daughter was one, two, three. I, I used their first three year programs. But when I had my second daughter and she started wanting to do learning too, it was hard because the age one stuff did not correlate to the age three stuff. And so I had to like basically prep two different things and that was too much for me. So I think it's really great for a one kid. If you have multiple, it may be too much for you. Next one is Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschooling, another great free resource. They have Getting Ready One, which is basically learning phonics, learning letter sounds. And then they have Getting Ready Two, which is once you know that, starting to read. So the online version is totally free. If you want it printed and that kind of stuff, it does cost money. 
but the online version is free and a really great resource. And then lastly, this Reading Mama, again, has kind of a more reading focused, letter focused program. And it's, I think, 31 weeks and um, is another just great one for alphabet. Not a complete curriculum though. It's not like numbers and science and all that, um, but it is a really good one for letter recognition, phonics, that sort of thing. As for free resources, if you just want some printables, work on something they're interested in, a letter, a theme, something like that, there are two that I continually go back to day after day, year after year, and that would be Top Schooling. Top Schooling has some great ones and you can do it by theme or just their search and you can just search for something. And then the other one is Teachers Pay Teachers. So I am all about free resources. I think you can do so much free learning. That's why I have pretty much all free resources. Of course, there's many other great ones that are paid, but I'm not talking about those here. Um, but Teachers Pay Teachers obviously is has paid stuff, but you can filter by free. And so when you use that free filter, it only spits out options that are free. So you can find tons of other free printables, worksheets on anything under the sun there as well. So uh, top schooling and teachers pay teacher are my two go-tos. Then as for apps, if you have like a tablet or something, or you want some child centered stuff, like if you need quiet time and you want them to do learning rather than watching, um, my all time favorite one is ABC Starfall. And that's because it's free and it has some really great starter free packs. You can extend it with a paid version, but their free basic abcstarfall.com is great. And it helps a lot with letters and numbers. It has little songs for toddlers, all that kind of stuff. It's great. It's my favorite. The other one I will just mention, it is paid. It is pretty cheap, but it is paid. It's called Homer. And it again is a great program. And that's like almost like a curriculum that you could do just on your tablet. But I do have a free trial to it. I'll link it in the description. I have a special link that gets you a free trial, I think for like 30 days or a month and you could just try it out. Uh, and that's Homer. So that's my other kind of favorite app. And so putting those all together, you could either use one of those curriculum resources I mentioned for free and have your whole year planned. You could get some theme ideas, maybe from my theme sheet, and you could either use my preschool lesson plans, or you could go to the top schooling or the teacher's pay teacher or Pinterest or wherever and get any free printables you want, or you could kind of go the more app route. But basically that is how I homeschool. That is our homeschool plan this year. And know that you can do it. I work full time. I do not have a lot of time. I have other children, but that 15 minutes that we spend together is so precious and I would not trade it even though it's workload on me to do it. You can do it. It's 15 minutes. That's all you need at that age. I promise you. And um, I will try to help as best as I can. If you have questions, again, check out my things. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, hopefully um, other content. I have a whole homeschooling playlist that you can check out if you want more ideas. I will post my, um, my favorite preschool supplies down below. I'll post the items that like are most helpful in our classroom, like the classroom setup. I'll try to give you as many um, helpful tidbits here as I can. But again, that is how we homeschool. That is the resources I can give you, all of which are free because sometimes money is a barrier and I get that. I also do not want to pay for a curriculum for my kids, so I get it. Um, but hopefully this is helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.